Hey everybody, what's up? So I wanted to show you a good example of when and how to use a divider. So what is a divider? A divider is a measuring tool and can also be a marking tool via making uh, holes with the uh, point of the needle and it's used for transferring measurements. So I'm working on this drawing. This is the small digital version that uh, I'm using to make this large version on top of this large piece of wood. So at the point where um, I needed to get this proportioning circle here, I have this line here. So I got this large rectangle. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. I've got this large hexagon, right? Inside the master circle. And then I figured out the way to get this proportioning circle is coming off the center here, going across to this 12 hole division where that um, line comes down from the hexagon right there. And where that intersects with this division is, gives me the, the uh, proportioning circle. However, um, practically when you go to um, achieve that and mark that out, it's not always going to be you know, exactly precise because based on how you did your divisions, how, how well you lined up this line with those points, it's going to be a little bit off maybe. So, um, again, this is on a large scale too. So, and also these are very important to get accurate because this, uh, radius here, you can see determines the length of that triangle. This makes a large isometric grid inside this hexagon. And if this is off, everything's going to be off because this composition, this layout has um, three triangle lengths per side, five inside this border, and that wraps around. And so if that is off, everything else is gonna be off. Uh, so it's very important to get it super accurate, super precise. So the way I did that on a, on a larger scale with the beam compass was um, instead of taking a compass right here and matching it up to that point, swinging an arc here, and then taking the compass again and um, going from here to here and here to here, you can see this radius is basically dividing half of this um, diameter of the large circle into thirds. So this is divided equally into three parts right here. So the way I did that was with a divider, which is more accurate than a compass because with a compass, you're going to be scribing a pencil mark. You're going to be trying to line up the tip of the needle in the center of that pencil mark, even if you have a very fine uh, lead 0.3 millimeters or, or, or finer than that, you're still trying to visually line up the tip of the needle and the center of that lead. And then you're trying to do that again when you uh, transfer it. If you were describing an arc there, you'd be trying to do that again from here or from here. When you use a divider, um, if you get this accurate measurement, you're simply, I'll show you. So you get that accurate and then you simply transfer this over the needle is a point and you're not trying to line it up visually with anything else. Once you get uh, the right measurement, the needle is simply swiveling inside that point, right? And then you line it up with the next and then you get onto there. Once you get that to where it, you can swing that around two times and get to that point precisely you know you've divided that distance exactly into three. There's no doubt about it. Whereas if you were to use a compass, you could do it accurately, but um, in my opinion, it would be a little bit less accurate than using the divider just because you're not trying to line anything up visually. You're not relying on um, you know, your eye and the needle is swiveling inside of a single point Again, this takes, uh, you know, time. It took me like three or four tries of adjusting going off of this, which is very close on my larger piece. And it took me three or four tries swiveling it around to, to, I kept having to do very, very fine adjustments, um, to get it where I swiveled it around two times, you know, one, two, and line up exactly on this, uh, circle right here. Again, that, that was just drawn with one compass one you know swivel around that is a solid uh, distance my master circle 
there's no you know measuring or did I line anything up right it is what it is so if I divide that in three that will perfectly perfectly give me this uh, proportionate circle and so that's just an example of a good time to use a divider for that hopefully that helps you thanks for watching